What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Game Do here. Welcome to you to another episode of Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, Despair. We are in part two of the trial, where things are getting a little bit hairy, but we're not 100 sure. The class trial has reached its climax. I would like to present the answer right here, right now. Huh? So you're gonna spoil who the killer is? <laughs> I'll reveal the answer before everyone's ready, and then they'll all be shocked. They'll all feel despair. You, you can't. That is seriously a big no, no. But spoiling it right now is innovative, don't you think? The club president and I are powerless against innovation. Whoa, who's the club president? So, without further ado, the answer is... <laughs> you can't. Everyone, please, close your eyes and cover your ears. You Come. say Nanu in German when you're surprised. Um... Huh? I don't know what you're talking about, but somehow it feels wrong to me. What the heck? Okay. Was that just a, oh, it's going to be a shocker? Probably. Hi, Monami. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Kwezumi is in this room. Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Ugh, I can't do anything! How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone. That's the least I can do. Everyone do your best. Don't lose to yourselves. And don't forget to save regularly. Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime after I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! The shower room. I even glanced inside the shower room oh. as I was running away. But there was nobody there. Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm. I wonder. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? If so, we've prepared the perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer of, from several questions. It is called the Logic Dive. During the logic dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an image within your brain. Your task is to reach the goal, the final destination of the Synapass course. We move sideways. You can move sideways with the left stick and accelerate with the RB button. Press the LB button to break and the RB button to jump. Move sideways and with the left stick and accelerate with the RB. But why am I hitting RB twice? Um, okay. There will be various obstacles you will encounter as you progress through the course. Make sure you are familiar with these controls so you can reach the goal. On your journey, you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Also, upon reaching question at a certain point, there will be benching questions in the course. The answers split into different paths, so please proceed down the path you think is correct. Benching questions will appear several times in one course, so please be careful. I highly recommend that you make a good use of the break. That is my metal sum advice to you. If you press the start button, the logic dive, you can review the controls again. Good luck and have fun. She's right. This may be a very important problem. If the killer tampered with the evidence after Hyoko ran away from the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? think. If you just focus about it and think, I am sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Logic dive.
Question one. When did the killer arrive at the beach house? Okay, I got it right. Question two. When did the killer leave the beach house? Uh, I'm gonna go with before Hyoko. No! It was after? This kind of feels almost like Sonic Riders in a dumb way. There were, where was the killer hiding while Hiyoko was unconscious? Uh, hiding probably on the beach? No! In the house? I have a feeling this is going to be to a point where there's four different crossroads. So this is sketchy. Before Hiyoko arrived, after Hiyoko left, and at the beach house. That was cool. The killer might have been hiding. You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Yoko. Uh, what are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make a kind bop you on the head and shut you up for good. I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer by any means. The place the killer was hiding that Hyoko didn't look. What? The killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. Fair. Two people even hide in such a small place, and without Kyoko knowing. That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. If the killer made sure to arrange a hiding spot in advance, I can only think of one place. That's the place that the killer was hiding inside the closet.
It counts as the same thing. That's what's throwing me. Can I not? And I can't change the perspective. Surfboard case in the closet. I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And Didn't I click on that? That weren't even in a case. I guess not. The killer but... probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy. I think. Then the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. But don't you mean it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently. And after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Saying whatever. Even if you didn't ask. All right. If you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> told you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Is the killer also included among those three or more people? <gasps> good question. Actually, that's a really good question. I think it is. Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well... Something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. Oh, <gasps> he messed up. Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. Okay, so we, we were the fourth people. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. Yes, Hyoko or Hyoko was one. Then two was Kazuichi and three was me. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. You're the one who went on a tangent. Facts. Freaking beat him up, Nekmaru. Um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? Yes, And after Nikon. Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. 
Yes. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Now then, I'll explain to you the final feature of Nonstop Debates. From this point forward, you will now be able to use the flashback system. <laughs> the death of gamer. <laughs> oh, God. If you hold down the Y button, the shape of the reticle will change. If you aim at the remark or the weak point, you will memorize it. This memorized phrase can only be fired one time. So, good job me. I'm so gonna die. If you shoot or change a different truth bullet, you will disappear from the, or it'll disappear from the truth cylinder. However, you can use the flashback as many times as you want. So, if you don't have the answer or lie available in your truth bullets, it might be wise to memorize a weak spot and use that to make your case. When the best time, when's the best time to use a flip flashback? Well, you would have to trust your keen wits, won't you? By the way, you will not be able to agree with and you oh okay important note you will not be able to do an agree statement with anyone while you're using a truth flashback so i can only use truth flashbacks to disagree with someone <clears throat> remember it can only be effective when refuting well good luck and happen i'm assuming you would have to use it because why would i not yeah, yeah okay what did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. No. They couldn't use the shower, right? Correct. So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and floosh! No. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet! Maybe it's the other way around? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. Yeah, I had it. I just didn't what use did the, the truth cylinder in time. They, simply, they couldn't use the sh so washing it off. They didn't have to. Uh, what if maybe they wore one when they moved? If they used something other than the shower. What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and- As someone who flushed, it would definitely clog. Maybe it's the other- Perhaps someone other- Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the- Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, that's wrong. The water bottles, that's why they were all empty. They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Something other than... Uh, oh, well, the, yeah, the drinks inside the refrigerator. I see drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. Oh god, Pekka, why? In theory, though, that's impossible. But why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. The trash can, the shower room, the iron room. Ugh. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try one bottle. It wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down. Oh, it's a match. Okay. Woo! Okay. Advance. I assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. They were only flavored. If you use those to wash blood, the blood will come off in your body. It will leave an aromatic smell, too. Especially if you use the lot. That alone would raise suspicion. 
Could it be the first allegation was intended to lead to this outcome? But I should have evidence against our argument now. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Allow me to cut through those words. Oh, there were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Ah, oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of the shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Hold on a second. Now that I think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, that person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. Hmm? See? Just as I thought. Hold on. You... You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? If the killer used the plastic water bottles to wash off the blood that splashed onto them, that killer, Mahiru's killer, must be that person. Um, I don't... Is it actually? Okay, good. Damn it! The water bottles. Was it a Kane? No shot. Okay, no, Damn good. It. Cool. Is it actually for you, Hiko? Did that just throw me off for no reason? Possibly. Or is it Pekko? But considering how the killer washed their body... Considering how they washed their body... Okay, good. Damn it! Why did I get thrown off so entirely here? Damn it! Am I gonna pick everyone but the right person because it threw me off that hard? You're the only one. What? should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? I remember when we were all meeting up to go to the beach. Your appearance when you came to the diner. She was dripping wet and she said she went swimming. If the killer really did wash the blood off with water bottles, They'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house. And it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't just stay silent. Say something. Hold on, you bastard. 
You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? So maybe she really was swimming. No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? Uh, after I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I didn't even pay attention to the beach house. I went straight back to the hotel after I saw you guys and didn't see anyone during that time. You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. That's why I thought it was Fuyuhiko the whole time. I would have been freaking in shock if it was actually Peko. Not so fast. It's too soon to decide she's a killer. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house. Now that you mention it, you hide. The roadside door was blocked. And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? The uh, iron bars. You all fired up, will you, Hiko? You're not the suspect. Peko is. Who cares about that? Answer me! If you have an explanation, then show me what you got! We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems unsolvable. Well, if Peko is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. The killer's escape route. I might know what it was. In fact, the only possible thing I can think of was that opening, the small window in the shower room. See. If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is... Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. <laughs> Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. But, but what if, for instance, she got help from someone? She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. Glittering not allowed. Let us go and see something island with bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Glittering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see, there's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. No, they just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us. We just said they couldn't use an object. We did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. I see. You don't have to throw it away if you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! <laughs> no! Please don't be violent! Even if the killer used an object to escape out the window, they would have, wouldn't have been able to get rid of it. So the only thing I can think of is that the killer must have hid it somewhere. If that's the case... Focus and think. The object the killer used to escape out the window. Oh, Hangman's Gambit. Yep, okay. Uh, not an M. B. Bamboo stick. I can clear this because the W doesn't matter. Oh, what? This we can preserve for later.
Echo, you carry that bamboo sword on your back at all times, right? If I recall correctly, you had it then, too. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Echo used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A uh, sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! I knew it was a ninja! Didn't I tell ya? A ninja could have climbed that easily. She did. Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. Wow! Just like a Japanese ninja! Miss Sonia? Ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Pekko could easily use it to climb. Well, Pekko, do you have anything to say? Now then, the time has come to once again for a panic talk action. Let's talk a little bit about fever time and negative time. From this point on, you'll be able to use fever time by hitting the RB button during the panic time action. Fever time is activated and the tempo will be pushed to its max. But that's not all. You won't be, you won't miss during fever time either. By pressing the B button when applicable, you can destroy your opponent's verbal assault. Only until your focus gauge runs out. So make sure you use a good use of your time. Of course, you're not the only one who can get the upper hand. There's something called negative time that your opponent can use as well. When your opponent activates negative time, your tempo marker will disappear, making it quite difficult to press buttons and rhythm. So in that case, please time the rhythm not with your eyes, but with your ears, and, a pa and your passionate heart. If you can't clear it, you can always change the difficulty setting. I'm not going to tell you them that they'll have to redo the class trial for that chapter if they do that. <laughs> well, good luck and have fun. Hold on a sec, you bastard! You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! Who you, Hiko? Why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Fuyuhiko, why? Why are you... Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Six, seven, eight, Got one, proof, two, bastard. three, four, That's five. That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard? Four, five, I'll your six, seven, organs. eight. One, two, You're three, four, five, six. Oh, shit, I'm off. You're pissing me off. Bastard! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't fuck with me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! This is the end! If she used her bamboo sword as a step stool, she could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use as a step stool, she tied her sword back to it. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her, she would have been able to recover her bamboo sword. Oh, I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. No, oh, you just back off. Uh, um, is it true? Did you really kill Mommy? Uh, hold on! You're just.
just making assumptions. You, you don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof. Got it, you bastard. It's fine. Huh? Ah. Uh. I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted it just now, right? She admitted she is Mahira's killer, right? But is this right? Even though Fuyuhiko was the one arguing with us, Peko just admitted it so among freely. The flowers, the cherry blossom, among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness, at least. Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Agreed. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. Kind of wait until after the voting. This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Peko's motive. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I must say... It was for the sake of justice. 